Hey everybody, welcome to another video. Today we're gonna do a bit of a different video. I'm gonna be talking about, I'm gonna be reflecting on some things which I've done for the past years, and that is school. Now, the schools I've been to is daycare, preschool, first to sixth grade, and seventh to ninth grade. I'm gonna be talking about the same thing on the same schools, but with a different kind of backstory. So, daycare. Now, daycare was around when I was, it was from whenever I remember, like, three or something, three to, you know, almost six years old. So like three, possibly two, I don't remember, two or three years old to five years old. So the teachers there were pretty nice, I guess. Some were nice. This was so long time ago, you have to understand that I'm soon 16. Tomorrow I'm actually 16. So it's like 10 years ago, like, come on, I'm gonna, that's a lot of years I need to remember. But the teachers, I remember they were very, um, how would I say it, like, they were, some were really strict, some didn't even have any, like, logic, I remember that. Some people were, like, really strict, one in particular was, like, one woman who was, like, really masculine, and she was, like, really strict all the time, although sometimes she would be, like, helpful, I guess. I think that's why I remember her as, she was, like, you know, basically a man, I don't even know, maybe she was transgender, I didn't even know what transgender was right then, so I wouldn't know. They were nice, I guess, some were nicer than others, but... I think they were okay, they were not bad at least. The students were, um, some were a bit retarded. I remember one incident in particular, there was this girl who was like two years younger than me. She would always, we, I would make fun of her coat. <laughs> this was like so funny because I, I would make, because her coat was like red and then it was flowery. So I would call her coat, it was red, it was red. Then she's like, no, it's a flower coat, it's a flower coat. And I would keep saying, it's red, it's red. And then eventually she would say, oh, it's red. I mean, no, then she would eventually say, it's, oh, it's red. But then I would be like, oh no, it's actually a flower coat. <laughs> so I would tease her, not like be rude to her. And then there would be that nice teacher always tell me, oh, don't do that to her, it's not very nice. And then what I would do is I would just look under, I would like, I would stand like an, like, you know, I would stand on two feet, then look under myself, and then pretend like I, I'm looking at her upside down, you know, like, I don't care about you, stay away from me. Yeah, so I was like a savage right then. The, the school atmosphere I don't remember so much, I just remember it being fun, I guess. Yeah, it was fun. What I liked about it was um, that it was always fun, there was always something to do. Yeah, and um, some things I didn't like about it was how strict it was, because you see, daycares are always really strict, they're really strict, I don't like them like that necessarily. And the most memorable mo moment was probably the one I just said. The reflection of it, I didn't really learn anything. I really just learned that daycare is usually very harsh compared to the other schools and I feel like it should be the other way around, at least here in Sweden. So what I can take from this is that you have to kind of understand that the people in daycare are kind of retarded, especially the teachers. And the kids are kind of nice, they're like innocent kids that haven't done anything. Okay, so now I'm going to be talking about preschool, first grade, sixth grade. Now, why I'm saying, why I'm not mentioning seventh and ninth grade is because I went to different schools. So, I went to one school in particular, which was a religious school from preschool to sixth grade. The teachers were nice somewhere. I, I kind of remember this quite good because it wasn't a very long time ago. The teachers were nice and everything. I think they were nice, but yeah, they were really nice because like most teachers saw me as an angel, which I really appreciate now because I would always be super nice. I would always be super nice. So if someone picked on me, then, you know, the teachers would tell them off. But the thing which was retarded was that the students would never listen. They would never listen. Like you tell them, they do it again. You tell them and they got, like, I eventually got fed up with it. But I just had to deal with it until the end, which was sixth grade, to go into the next school. And the students were really chaos. You know, most of them were foreigners. They were not Swedish, so obviously it's chaos. And also, they weren't really nice, I guess. I mean, some are really nice, some I'm still friends with. No, it's actually only one person who I'm friends with. But that person um, he was only there for like two years. The friend which... Um, I was friends with, uh, he was only in that school for two years, so I, I couldn't really be with him too long. Uh, the school atmosphere was chaotic, I don't like it one bit. Now that I'm looking back, I'm good that I left that school, even though I was there for seven years, which I totally regret. Uh, what I like 
I liked about it was that I could eat anything I want to because it, everything was like halal and what I hated about it was probably the students and how they would one day be your best friend and the next day where they would be like the the worst bully. Memorable moments were um I don't know there's a lot of memorable moments which I kind of want to make into story time but one in particular was probably when um probably when yeah my the friend I'm still friends with when he got really mad at this other guy who kind of was my friend I guess but isn't my friend anymore. One moment was he was like push pulling over the tables and everything. I think he was kind of defending me in a, in a way I don't I don't remember exactly why he did it. I feel like he was either defending me or he was or he was just simply mad at the other guy and like it was only us three in the classroom because the others were having some music thing which we weren't allowed to attend to not because we were bad people because we our parents requested it and yeah basically it was like chaos right there and yeah I might make that into story time so you guys will have to wait for that reflection um I would say I made I was when I went to that school I the only thing I really cared about was to have a lot of friends and I don't think that's really good I think it's more important that you have a good friend like I at one point in fifth grade I remember I tried my best to be friends with this one guy which I didn't get to know throughout the whole third grade since I knew him since he 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 um he went to the school since kindergarten kindergarten preschool I don't know why you call that but he had been there as many years as me and I didn't get to know him. I did try to get to know him afterwards but the thing is he was like he didn't really because he was like the famous person and um he didn't really care you know who's his friend or not and he was kind of popular because apparently he was good at football and you know if someone has fame then they tend to not care as much and yeah I should that's why I take of a reflection to this school now 7th to 9th grade that was the school I just went to and by the way to be precise I'm going to high school in two days so I'm kind of excited the teachers in my previous school were they were nice yeah they were nice they were nice some were a bit biased though they were nice and everything uh one thing which I probably could say is that again they didn't if you told them something or you know told someone else to not do it like they would tell them it depends also on which teacher because some teachers one in particular he was like a really masculine guy so no one would mess with him but still the people who are like really nasty were like you know really rude they would be rude afterwards the students were it was mixed it was definitely mixed compared to the other one which i kind of happy some were really nice the reason i was kind of popular in a way was because i apparently my dad had a shop and everybody knew about it some would make poke fun but you know they were mixed the general atmosphere of the school was chill it was funny it was sassy i think it was an enjoyable moment especially the first year yeah the first year the second year wasn't too good it was like it was kind of harsh i would say harsh boring and what more would i say yeah harsh boring because you know people since seventh grade you know everybody has to be nice to each other blah 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 i mean people were still rude then i would say eighth grade was a bit harsh and whatever ninth grade everybody started maturing up not a lot of you know harshness it was still a little bit boring but i think it was like soon school is over and i'm gonna be completely happy that was my like intention uh what i liked about it was um you know, I got really, I have one really good friend right now, and, uh, which I've never had, and I hopefully we will still be friends, and, um, yeah. But one thing I did hate about was that people would easily, like, you know, because it's, you're, everybody's pretty old now, and people tend to, you know, make fun of you for the smallest things, which is kind of stupid, but whatever. It was like whatever for me, even though sometimes it kind of, it was kind of annoying. Some memorable moments were definitely... I um, don't want to give away too good memorable moments because I want to make it for a story time. A memorable moments was probably when I met my best friend. It's kind of weird how we met, but it was like we played the same game and then we just became friends, I guess. That was really good. But I don't really remember exactly how it was, but either way. The reflection, which is the most important part of this, is um, this school was very educating, I guess. Yeah, it was it, the other the other schools I did learn in the daycare. Obviously, you don't learn anything, but like my previous school or whatever, they didn't really learn. Like, like in um, first to sixth grade, you don't really learn anything. You kind of just learn basic stuff. But when you go to seventh and ninth grade, then it's like you learn stuff which you kind of knew about, but it's like in depth. So 
and remember. I also, um, some things which uh, I think about the school is, it's like a lot of the teachers are happy. Like they're happy and they're like welcoming. They're not like, ugh. They're not like evil people. So that's one thing which I think about the school. And yeah, I'm going into high school. Expect a reaction to high school first day. I'm not probably gonna record it, like my reaction on the Colada channel. But to say uh, the last day of school of the one I just was in, ninth grade, uh, it was nice. I mean, it was kind of sad to leave it since I've been there and I felt more of a connection there than being in a different school for seven years. Because when I left 6th grade, then um, the teacher who I had, she was really fake. She had been back talking about me, and um, once I com my dad confronted her on the last day, then um, she was like bullshitting all. So I wasn't happy with that school one bit. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I hopefully you did watch the whole thing, because it is kind of lengthy, I just realized right now. But I think it was something I wanted to make a video about. I'm going to be streaming later on today, so look out for that. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!